Hello and welcome to my shop. Okay, you see that extension right there? Okay, hang in there and I'm going to show you how I made it. Alright, this is an exact layout of the pedal configuration in my Durex. So what you've got here, you've got the accelerator. Now that shape is not quite right, but that doesn't really matter. And you've got the brake pedal and you've got the clutch pedal. And of course I traced these off one of those, so I know they're right. And I measure between these three and a quarter inches here, two and a quarter here from rubber to rubber. All right. Now here's what here's here's what I'm doing. Okay, I took that's tracing my hunting boot. All right. Here's my right foot, and I'm right here, and I move it over here to hit my brake. So my brake is going to sit right here, naturally on the center. Now I want to you know change gears. So what have I got? I only got this much, and what happens? is that when I when I go to mash the clutch the bottom of this sole will catch the lip of the sole on my right foot and it just well it's really awkward you know because you know it just makes tries to push this foot down so you end up coming over here and all you can catch is a little bit right there I mean that's just that's not acceptable in my mind so what I'm going to do is I, had, I found this piece of a, this was a handle off of a treadmill, and I'm going to slot it here and here, and of course this, this you know, the, the steel under here is not as big as that rubber, and it's going to slide onto here just about like so, and that's going to give me five inches, so now we are going to be talking about this. That's the plan, right there. And of course, this is going to be down flush with the rubber, and then I've got some anti-skid stuff to go on there. So, you know, even if I come over here like this, i got room, but I could come way over here like that and catch it. And the, the firewall is still got another three or four inches right here. So that ought to do it. Now, I've origin originally I thought about just taking the pedal itself and uh, heating it and, and, you know, bending it in something like... Let me find something that writes better than that. All right, you know, up here, up here where it connects right here, right up here, and does like that. I was thinking about just doing this with it, and uh, something like that. But that's going to shorten it, and uh, this, this particular pedal arrangement, that's not very thick steel. Now, now the brake is, the brake is a good, it's a quarter inch thick, but this is probably an eighth and it's more formed and it has like a ridge going down the center so if you start bending that you're going to destroy the strength of it so I'm thinking that this is probably the best configuration of course I've always got this I can fall back on later because this is going to be uh, sit on here like that and it'll, I'm going, I got enough room I'm going to put one bolt right through here so it'll be it'll have a bolt right there like that to hold it on and it'd be slotted to come up on it. That's the plan. Alright, I'm starting to cut it out. <clears throat> Using a die grinder, I used the bandsaw, the, the metal cut bandsaw to cut that right there. And now I'm going to come off this side and then I'll flip it over and do the other one. slides up on it. Be back. I'm going to cut a slot right here. Right up to right here, just right there where that is to uh, slide it over over the pedal. We'll just see how that works then. Guess I'll turn the air on. Now 
right, let me go see if I'm close. All right, there you are. Um, it's actually a pretty simple fix. I'll try to keep out of your way right here. Just light off just a little. So, you know, you saw I slotted it where it slid over the metal part of the pedal. Like a little bit of it sticking out right here. But that doesn't hurt nothing. These are two self tapping screws. And I'm going to put that anti skid on it. Let me see. Yeah, okay. And I don't see that being a problem. My foot weight. Oh no, it's good. You got that on there? Before it was like this, you know. So now I can come over here, put that anti skid on it, and it'll be good to go. I'll call that puppy done. All right, now you you know you can also I know you guys don't have you know uh, treadmill handles, but you can go over to a Home Depot or something and buy I believe it's eight eighth inch or a quarter inch flat stock in short pieces. You know, pretty close to that wide. I'm not sure. I think you can get them as much as two inches, and that'll work just fine. Cut it off and drill you some holes and put it on there. And, you can buy that anti-skid over, I think you can get over Home Depot too. So let me get that on and I'll show you that when I'm done and uh, that'll be the end of this project. Next project is I'm going to, I'm going to put some pockets in these doors. I'm going to try, I'm going to take them off see what they look like first. And then we'll go from there. Plus I'm going to redo these. I hate these damn things. I had to put this on but I'm, I've got some Kydex. You don't know what that is, that's called... It's thermal plastic. It's what you can heat in a toaster oven, bend it any way you want, and it stays there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that when I get these off, so I can see what they look like. And like I said, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay out of your way as much as I can. But uh, this is what I'm using right here. I've already got a piece cut. This is anti-skid, like you put on a stairs or something let me there you go and it's already got the stick em stuff on the back but it's been my experience that this stuff gives up after a while i mean good example is these mats and these floors they're all they're all like this and i've had to redo them already and this thing got less than 100 miles on it so what i do is i take this is uh this is 3m multi-purpose adhesive so what you do is you put a light coat on each side and you let it sit for a little while and then you put it on and it'll be there till the cows come home. So we're going to do that. That's all it takes. Yeah. That's it. We'll come back in a couple minutes, put that on. I believe that'll ever come off. Let's try it. If I can get back up. Okay. Perfect. I can be even way over here like that, see? Be here. Works like a charm. Man, that is going to solve that problem like a big dog. And of course, he can come in and you catch that. So now you can come over here. That ought to solve it. All right, end of that project. Appreciate you watching. You uh, subscribe, call your mama, and uh, we'll catch you on the rebound.